Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to click a button, and it will teleport you wherever you want on the map. So the first thing we need to do is go into the View tab, and open Explore and Properties. After that, go into the Explorer, go into Starter GUI, click the plus, and enter in a Screen GUI. After that, click the plus on the Screen GUI, and enter in a Frame. So this will be our frame, you can put like multiple teleport buttons on here, but I'm just going to quickly resize it, like something like this. It doesn't need to be very fancy. This is just a place where you can put all of your teleports. So next thing you want to do is under the frame, click the plus and enter in a text button. Make sure that it is a button and not a label. After that, you can drag it wherever you want. I'm just going to drag mine over here. And I'm going to go into the properties of it. And then I'm just going to like change the background color. And I'm going to change the text to teleport 1. I'm going to make the text scaled. I'm going to make it bold. And then I'm going to make it white. So now that I got my first teleport button. What you want to do is go up here. Click this UI button so you can't see the whole thing. Go into model. And then click part. So this will be our teleport part. So now you can drag this part wherever you want on the entire map. For example, I'm going to do it like all the way in the corner right here. And then make sure that wherever um, you want the player to teleport to, you move it up slightly so the player doesn't get stuck into the ground. After that, what you want to do is rename it to whatever you want. So I'm just going to rename it to teleport PT1. And I'm going to go into the properties of it. This is like the most important part. Go into transparency, make it 1, scroll down until you find can collide, uncheck it, and then go to anchored, and then check that. After that, you can go back to this UI, click that. After that, you can go back to the text button and rename this to teleport 1 without a space. After that, go into the frame, click the plus, and enter in a local script. After that, you can write what I write. So wait one second, and then local player equals to game dot players dot local player. After that, go down line and write local hum root part equals to player dot character dot humanoid with a capital H root with a capital R and part with a capital P. After that, go down line and write local teleport1 equals to script dot parent dot teleport1. After that, go down line and write local place1 equals to game dot workspace and then we rename the part to teleport1 one part1. One. So just make sure that this lines up with the name that you put it in the workspace. And for that, go down line and write local db equals to false. And now we can start the actual script. So we can write teleport one dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then delete one bracket. Go down a line and write if not db then go down a line db equals to true and after that go down a line and write hum root part dot c frame with a capital c and f equals to place one dot c frame with a capital c and f and after that go down a line write wait one and then go down a line and then write db equals to false so that should be the entire script and the last thing we're going to add is a X button so you can close this uh, GUI and another button so you can reopen it. So go under the frame, click the plus and enter in a text button again. Move it all the way to the corner or wherever you want. I'm going to make mine size 50, 50 like that. I'm going to rename this one to exit. I'm going to go into the properties of it. I'm going to make the background red. I'm going to go down into text. I'm going to rename it to a big X. 
I'm gonna make the color white. I'm gonna make the text scaled. And I'm gonna make the text bold. And after that, we're gonna go into the screen GUI, click the plus, and enter in a text button. And I'm gonna drag the button like somewhere over here. And I'm gonna rename it to open frame. And I'm gonna quickly customize it. Okay, so now that I've customized it, what you wanna do is go into the exit, click the plus, and enter in a script. And they can write what I write. So local frame equals to script dot parent dot parent. And then go down line and write local button equals to script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot open frame. Go down two lines and then write script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function. Add brackets and delete one. Go down line. And write frame dot visible equals to false and write button dot visible equals to true after that go into the open frame click the plus enter in a local script and then write local frame equals to script dot parent dot parent dot frame and then write local button equals to script dot parent go down to lines and write button dot mouse button to one click colon connect function add brackets delete one go down the line and then write frame dot visible equals to true and then write button dot visible equals to false so the last thing you want to do is go into the frame go into the properties go to visible and uncheck it and now let's go test it out so here I am inside of the game. Here if I press teleports, this frame opens up. And then if I press X, the button comes back again. And then if I was to press teleport one, I would be teleported all the way over here. So I'll do that again. And as you can see from the background, I am being teleported. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you want to see how you can add more than one teleport or how to make this UI disappear whenever you press the teleport button, there will be a video in the description which will show you all of that. But that is it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.